Hey, so you want to become a web developer and you're wondering if Udemy or Treehouse is the best way to go, I'm going to tell you today. Now, first thing I want you to, to kind of understand when it comes to learning how to become a web developer online is when it comes to courses that promise you that one course will be enough, that will get you a job, they're usually right and wrong in another way. What I mean to say is that when you go to college, let's say you want to become a web developer, you're not just going to purchase one course that's like uh, 40 or 20 hours long and expect that after that course, you're going to get a job. Like most developers go to college for years and they don't just watch one 40 hour course every semester. They watch like tens of them, tens of courses. And after that, they didn't spend 40 hours learning. They spent like something like a thousand or hundreds of hours. So you can't expect that after just what one course, you're going to be as good as a developer as someone who spent all college. Now, that doesn't mean you won't be able to get a job if you watch just one course. I did it. And if you want, comment down below and I'll show you in one of the, in another video how I managed to get a job as a web developer with only one 20 hour course, but that's beside the point. Now, I want you to just know this because when it comes to buying courses, you might see that Treehouse is just like $20 a month and Udemy courses can be purchased for about $15 a month usually. But the thing you need to consider is that when you you want to become a web developer, you can't expect that just one course will be enough. If you decide to go with Udemy, you're going to have to decide to buy more than one course ex uh, unless you want to or unless you're ready to be bad as a as a developer or, or mediocre. Because if you really want to be good, you're going to have to buy much more courses and watch a lot of courses. This is where Treehouse really shines. Treehouse, with $20, you can get their program for, for one month and you can watch as many courses as you want. And if you really hustle and go through them and watch as many as you want, now you can really get a, skill, uh, a good skill set for cheap. Now, the problem with Treehouse is that while they're cheap, they're cheap as fuck. Their courses, some of them are so shit. Their courses are so fucking bad. Like if you check like their, um, their business section, their design section, like one of my, like my partner and I, we decided we'd go through, through Treehouse courses together and we like watched, uh, 10 of them in like one week or something. And like, it was really a deep immersion in Treehouse to get as many reviews as possible. And we figured out that most courses were shit. One or two really were okay. One of them was pretty good. It was a design course. Uh, and you can comment if you want me to share that with you, if you want to be a designer, but I'm in another video called, uh, how to become a front end web developer for $32, which you can find, uh, hopefully up here. Uh, which is my recommendation on the best courses to get if you want to be a web developer for cheap. But regardless, uh, when it comes to Treehouse courses, two or three of them were okay, but the rest were so fucking bad. Like one of them is called Soft Skills. My partner just watched it and we never got to review it since it was just so fucking bad. Every time he was sitting in front of the computer about to write, he couldn't get a a uh, objective, an objective script because he's just so angry that this course wasted his time. And like this course is three hours long, but the problem with, with three hours is that most of the courses don't show you what to do. They just tell you, Hey, this concept is important. That's why it's important, but they don't teach you what the concept is about. And they don't teach you how to apply the concept strategically. They don't show you how to do these things. They just show, show you why this thing is important. It exists. It's important. Learn it, but they don't show you like they just treehouse. There's things you learn in these courses, but there's so much things that you just go over the surface and not deep enough for you to get a deep understanding. And I think that's maybe something that's, that you should expect from the possibly the cheapest paid option to learn online courses, uh, learn web development online. You see Treehouse, the best thing about Treehouse courses is the fact that they have great cameras, great production value, but the content in these videos are shit. They're shit. Most of them are shit. 
One advantage I can see Three House has on top of the low price tag is the fact that they have this progression system where every time you watch a lecture, you kind of gain points that show you like you're going on an uphill trajectory and you can see every day how many lectures you watch and you can see like it gives you some sort of dopamine rush which makes you want to watch more and more and more videos and that's actually how we managed to go through so many videos and if you're someone who's having trouble like pushing yourself to do things and when you're not like when you're at home if you're struggling to watch online courses and getting consistent with your learning process this is something that could help you but the thing you need to consider when you're getting into treehouse is that most of their courses are not complete packages there's there's things that are just missing there's things that they just don't teach you deep enough and it's very likely you're gonna have to get that knowledge elsewhere either by books either by uh, review by uh, going on Google and Googling these things. But Udemy isn't perfect either. Udemy has also a lot of shitty fucking courses. And the truth is that if you go with the Udemy uh, possibility, you you're, you probably have to pay a lot more money to get all your courses than you would with Treehouse. However, the thing is that Udemy has... Uh, Treehouse has consistently courses that are, to me, probably between five to seven and a half out of ten. But Udemy courses, there, there are shitty Udemy courses, but there are really, really good Udemy courses like the Web Developer Bootcamp, which I keep recommending to web developers over and over and over because I think it's one of the best places to get started learning code if you want to become a web developer. You can see my review. Uh, I think I'll try to put a link up there for you to go see it. I, I think it's uh, an amazing course and is it's actually the way I managed to get a job as a web developer. But the problem with uh, Udemy, I think, is that most courses, um, they're short and they're, they're not complete packages. Like one course will show you how to do Python and you might need another course on how to uh, do another set of technology that allows you to use Python and another course that allows you to use Python in this specific situation. And all of these courses, since they're not made by the same person and they're not designed to be watched together uh, as a group of videos, you'll get a lot of repeated information and you'll also... Um, sometimes miss pieces of the puzzle because some instructors assume that you already know things that you don't. But overall, I think you can really go with a solid education set. If you go with Udemy, you get the right course, you can really uh, get good. As a web developer, I think for web developers, Udemy is a great platform if you're willing to pay a lot more than Treehouse. The problem, again, you're gonna have more trouble uh, forcing yourself to watch videos because if you just like drop out of your job and drop out of school and you just sit down and you expect you're gonna spend like 10 hours every day watching Udemy classes, nah man, you won't fucking do it. You know you won't fucking do it. May, may, if you do, like, fucking respect because I, I fucking couldn't do it. My partner can't do it either. We're like watching these courses and like most of these instructors are like so fucking boring and like yeah the, the information works fuck yeah it works and I managed to get a job as a web developer because of Udemy but the truth is that when you're sitting in front of the computer for hours and hours and you're watching these courses that are fucking boring and don't get me wrong treehouse courses are even more boring than Udemy ones but when you're watching them you know there's always that YouTube is just like two clicks away and you could like watch videos on one of your favorite things like for me maybe videos on magic cards or videos on martial arts I do a lot of martial arts or whatever interests you and like it's always a couple of clicks away and you need to develop the discipline and Treehouse has the advantage because they have this scoring system where every day you see how many uh, videos you watch you can see when you're not making progress and it's gonna annoy you when it's on Udemy like if you just watch a couple of minutes and like you stop you go for take a drink 
you watch another couple of minutes and you stop and you go watch one YouTube video and you watch another 15 minutes and you go do something else. After six hours of work, maybe you'll just find out that you've probably just watched about two hours of video and you've wasted four hours like doing other shit just to feel productive when in reality you would have been much better if you just had spent two hours like behind your desk watching um, your courses. If you want to know my recommendations on the best courses to get, I, I think both platforms work. And I think depending on what exactly you want to learn, uh, the courses you're going to choose will vary. There are many, many different ways to become a web developer. You've got backend, you've got so many different technologies. And if you want to do like me, I became a front end web developer using HTML, CSS and the basic stuff. And I used basically JS to do pretty much everything. If that's what you want to do, click on this video. If I can't put a link up there, as I said, I'll put one in the description where I'll show you my video where I show you exactly the courses I recommend if you want to become a front end web developer on a budget for $32 or less. In that video, it's also very interesting for you who want to learn from Udemy because I'm going to show you how to get Udemy courses on sale when they're not on sale. That's right. When you go on Udemy and you find out that these courses are like $200 or something, it's not worth purchasing them because you know there's going to be a sale two weeks from now. But waiting sometimes is annoying. In that video, I'm going to show you how to not have to wait and get your Udemy courses for $15, no matter when, what time of the year it is, no matter if they're having a store wide sale right now, no matter anything, I'll show you how to get your Udemy courses for cheap. And I'm telling you, this is worth it because getting Udemy full price is like $200. And when you get them on sale, it's like 15 bucks. Go check that out. If you want to see how to become a web developer, the best courses for your money. With that said, Consider subscribing to our channel. We review online courses. We test a lot of courses from Udemy and from big name content creators. We've reviewed courses from Jordan Peterson, Grant Cardone, Tony Robbins, and even Tim Ferriss. We're going to review a ton more courses. I can, I think you should consider subscribing on YouTube because that's where we publish our reviews first before we publish them on our website, isthiscoursegood.com. With that said, thanks so much for watching. I hope you learned a lot from this video. If you have more questions about Udemy and Treehouse, I know I can't put everything there is to know about these platforms in just a 10 minute video. And if you want more recommendations based on what specifically, what part of web development you want to learn, ask me in the comments. Uh, I'm always happy to respond and I try to respond as quickly as possible. You know, I've probably watched close to $100,000 worth of courses right now. I know so many courses out there and I'll be able to help you figure out which is the best for you. With that said, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.